critic say something or say this, it turns me into a monster. It does. Michael was responsible for keeping a lot of people's jobs for them. Uh, he was very exciting. You know, he was very interesting. The media, I'm going to tell you something. Janet's ex husband, James DeBarge, came to me and said, Ma, guess what? I said, What? He said, um, One of those tabloids wanted to interview me. And he said, what do you know about the Jacksons and all? And he said, I was telling them things and everything was good. And they had nerve enough to say, well, don't you know some dirt on them? And he said, no. And you know what they said? Make up something. Just most of the media, you know, you can't make like an assumption about somebody over what you hear on the TV, what TMZ says, or what anybody else really says until you get to know someone. Because I know my dad, I knew him for 15 years. A lot of other people knew him for even longer. And he was just probably the nicest person, you know. He said that to always be careful of what you say to the media, what you put out there, because they will always try and use things against you. They will always try and like put you down and like give you the worst rep ever. Put in the tabloids and all that Michael um, living in that hyperbaric chamber and that was a lie, it wasn't the truth. And a lot of people came and they were looking for it. <laughs> Where is that chamber that Michael was in? And I said, that is not the truth. That he was at the hospital, he saw it, and he climbed over in it just to see how it felt to be in it. Another one that came out that he was buying the uh, elephant man bones. He thought that was funny too. Hey, I don't know what these people are gonna say next. That's what he, we would say. You know, preserving his body, freezing this, freezing that. It was all bad for his career. Anything he did, if he sneezed at a table, you know, they would have wrote, Michael sneezed at a table at this luncheon. It was in whatever, you know, it's, when you're in spotlight like that, you know, they're gonna find something, something to talk about. There were people coming in and out of his life, attorneys coming in and out of his life, business managers coming in and out of his life because he chose to not comment on every single thing that was written about him, there was even more misconception about him. Most people misunderstood Michael because of the media and the other things they'd have out there about him. So you can't believe everything you hear. Well, I mean, a lot of people are jealous of him. I mean, they will do anything to put him down, whether it's make up rumors, take him to court with lies, it's just, Everyone wants something. It was a, a, a goal to destroy this man, okay? And they picked one of the worst things that they could find to do that. And I kind of touched on it a little bit. It makes me sad. Um, with the child molestation thing, that was nasty, that was ugly, that was not right. It was a misconception because they didn't care to know who he was. Michael regretted that he didn't defend himself when they came out with those allegations. And I was upset because uh, they paid those people all that money. And, um, and I was asking him, why did you let that happen? And he told me that um, the lawyers, that's what they had uh, got together and said it's best to pay them off so they would go away. It was the lawyers who suggested that Michael settle with this case with this person just to get rid of it. Get your name out the media. We don't need this. This is bad for your career right now. You're hot as hell. Why are we dealing with this? We'll just get rid of it. And, Bad advice, because the media want, wanted the stories. They sell millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars off these stories. And that's what the public have to remember. They want a story. Along with being a creative, musical genius, and along with being perceived as having great wealth, I think when he settled the case in 1993 for reportedly close to $20 million, I think that sent a message to a lot of the con artists who tried to flock around him, why work if you can sue Michael Jackson? Exactly, and I was very upset about that because what the reporters would do, they would come to the trial in the morning 
and they gathered some information uh, uh, from the prosecution and they would fly with it without the defense re rebuttaling what just happened. And at the end of the day, they wouldn't report what really happened and how this person said that. But then this other person came and gave the whole explanation why this person said they, they just chopped up and did what they showed the world what they wanted the world to see. Sound like control, sort of. And my son was so upset. And he said, I knew who did this to me. Because people are so evil and cruel. I looked at the sheriffs who were doing the investigative work. They had a big glow in their eye, like they were going to be movie stars. I haven't seen a serial killer's home raided by 70 sheriffs. And I haven't seen a death penalty case where 70 sheriffs and investigators showed up to raid a home. This was only because it was Michael Jackson, the greatest known celebrity in the world. Uh, everybody wanted a piece of the action. They kept trying to bring him down. It was like people sicking a hound dog on you. And he kept going and going and going. But I think it was um, because that he knew he was innocent of these things. Most people, if they were guilty, they couldn't continue. If you take the eccentric aspects of his personality and behavior and lifestyle, and you try and make him a villain, all of a sudden those eccentric qualities become vehicles for attack, vehicles for exaggeration and criticism. And unfortunately, he turned into a wonderful target for evil-minded people. He was just that type of a brother. He was just so loving and caring and giving, and people didn't understand him because they don't understand people like that. The world is really screwed up. We look for the bad in people all the time instead of trying to find good in people. And that's what's wrong with our world. When we got something good, we don't even know how to appreciate it. We want to tear it open and see what's, what's, what's wrong with it. You know? Maybe there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe it's just good. It makes me angry, but my dad always told me, you know, kill him with kindness. So I don't know, like, how to do that, actually. So I normally just, like, really try to ignore it because I know that they're actually ignorant, you know, whatever they are. Like, people, most people that think like that, they really don't know him as a person, so they can't say anything about it. The thing about him was he was a very nice person. He would retaliate. I think all the negativity just comes from jealousy. He was just talented and so kind-hearted that people just feel the need to hate. I used to almost be moved to tears about it because the media had made up so much stuff about him, and they still do. And personally, I think they're all wrong and ignorant. But I don't know, they're like, he ended up ignoring it most of the time, but sometimes it would just get too much for him because that is his public image. There isn't really a way to get around like the haters, but I mean, only way to just get past them is just ignore them, like don't let them phase you. Well, I thought it was me, but uh, but if it's their opinion, I guess it's their opinion. We all get very defensive for him, and like if something happens, we just like immediately like stand up, we start yelling, we're like, what, no, and then we, like we get very defensive, and um, I hope like it never reads any of that kind of things. I do what it's like, happened and all the news flashes. I wouldn't really read the newspaper or anything, but uh, I would know all the stuff that happened. I guess in the end, he was like proven, I guess, you know, like everything they said about him wasn't true. And uh, he always told me that the media would twist your words like that. So, you know, you'd be careful what you say to him. And still, I don't trust people like the paparazzi or any like news reporters, anybody like that because of it, you know. Because I mean, me being his son, that I'm biologically supposed to stand up for him, and that's what I do. But you know, I guess if the whole world got to know him, they'd see him in a completely different, like, new thing. He wasn't like cocky or arrogant. He just thought himself he was a normal human being. But now that I know a lot more about him, I feel like what happened to him, a lot of it, that was, was kind of wrong. And you know, being him, he didn't really deserve to go through it. But I mean, it made him a stronger person near the end. <laughs>